the poor person who was a match could be killed on demand so that his or her organs could be sold. I never wanted to live in any sort of socialism again. But here in the US, I'm starting to feel that it has followed me. Not only many politicians are making socialism sound so sweet, but the majority of young Americans are attracted by it. But here is what it really is. In communist China, the government, or rather the, communist, the Chinese Communist Party, the CCP, controls everything. And because it controls everything, it can make all the rules, it can take away people's liberty, property, and dignity, and persecute them at will. So ever since the CCP took power 70 years ago, half, more than half of the population has been persecuted one way or the other. Over 8 million people died of unnatural deaths. My family and I suffered too. I was thrown into prison four times and then sent to a labor camp for simply practicing Falun Gong, which is only a, mi a mind, body, spirit practice to improve mental and physical health. The labor camp felt like entering right into hell. From the very first moment we were in, we were forced to squat like this, with our hands putting behind our heads, our, low, our heads lowered, and our eyes looking at our feet motionlessly, squatting like this under the baking sun for 15 hours. Whenever someone couldn't endure, offended, electric bantoms were immediately used on them so that they would be revived to continue with the squatting. On the second day in the camp, two police guards dragged me from the cell into the courtyard, threw me onto the ground, applied two electric bantons on me all over the body until I lost consciousness. Every day was a struggle between life and death. We were not only under endless torture, physical and mental, but were also forced to do endless slave hard labor. All the products we made in the camp were exported to overseas countries, including the United States. And we were also subjected to physical examinations and blood tests the purpose, the data of our blood and tissue types were stored in the computer system. So when someone in any part of the world need, needed an organ, the poor person who was a match could be killed on demand so that his or her organs could be sold for organ transplantations. This is not a plot in a horror novel or Hollywood movie, but a real and heinous crime perpetrated against innocent people. During the past 20 years, when Falun Gong was persecuted in China, the number of people killed for their organs could be in millions. This ladies and gentlemen, are the realities of socialism. Socialists promise heaven on earth, but always end up giving you a one-way ticket to hell. <laughs>